Hello and welcome to Wandering Wanda. Today I'm going to cover my little closet area. I already have hangers up here and these hangers again are from Bed Bath & Beyond. They're the really thin ones however what I like about this is that they have this little rubber rubber here. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, if we take these button down shirts that I love wearing, and if you think I ironed them, you're out of your freaking mind. These all go to the cleaners. So I don't know what we're gonna do on the road. I'm gonna have to find cleaners that do it like that. Because I'm not ironing them. You'll see me with shirts like this, except they're all wrinkled. Okay. The little rubber mat base keeps things in place. It grips it. Very nice. Fancy, fancy. So I will have a set and Walter will have a set. It will go right in the closet. It looks like the packet that I got is not going to be enough. Because there's our raincoats, our parkas, more of my shirts, more of what, nope. I need one more set. And that should fill up my little closet area here. Another thing that's going on this side of the closet is my yarn swift. The table yarn swift you'll probably see me demonstrate this to those that don't know what a yarn swift is it's when you buy a skein of yarn and it needs to be balled up you'll see this is the only place I can think of putting it that's actually long enough and it's gonna be safe okay let me show you one of the upgrades that I did for Wanda actually two right now this little gap here between the closet and the refrigerator the way Airstream built this is that it was open for this privacy curtain between the living area and you can so you can shut off the bathroom That's what the railing up here is for you see that railing anyway it was open I didn't like it open so when we were I was picking things out in the airstream and what <laughs> this and that I told them to build me a little door here so it's not open and I'm not seeing this curtain every time I walk by I have a gap here so build me a little curtain door and there you have it. Now it looks nice and clean. See, look, it's nice and clean. From the top to the bottom, there isn't a stupid gap. Just because of the, the privacy curtain. Now I've got a door here. Makes it a lot nicer. So, Airstream for your next upgrades, put a door here. All right. One of the other upgrades that I did for the closet is that this closet normally this hanger bar goes all the way across both sides. We don't have that many hangy clothes. Most of our clothes other than the coats and our dress shirts that are short sleeves, the ones that you've seen me wearing and these are not expensive. These are from Walmart. They are... Eh, look at the price of this. They're seven bucks. Do not spend your money on clothing. Clothing is disposable. If it's something that's going to make you look good and feel good, 
you're only going to wear it once or twice, don't buy it. Buy clothes that complement your other clothes so you're not spending a ton of money on clothing. I did at one time and it was a waste of money because those clothes are all gone. I do have a lot of Tommy Bahamas. I, I love my Tommy Bahamas shirts. <clears throat> and some of those I got from Goodwill. But most of them are from the Tommy Bahamas store. Okay, anyway, this is the second, the other upgrade that I did. So the, the hangy bar that's on this side does not continue on. I told them to build me shelving for this side of the closet. And this is where I'm going to put our t-shirts and our sweaters and socks and underwear. Okay, let me show you how I, I think I'm going to organize this. Okay, this is how I think I'm going to organize it. Again, this is all a work in progress. I have these bins. I love my bins. Really useful box. And that's what the title is. So, it looks like I can fit, and it fits right in the doorway. This is the 8.1 liter. So, that one slides in. Same size. Slides right in also. And I can still close the door. So, what I am thinking right now is one bin for underwear and then one bin for socks that not that I wear socks all the time but one bin for me for underwear and then one bin for Walter for underwear and and then socks in one bin and so here's my underwear So, put sh shirts in another, in, right on top, perfect. Okay, for now I'm going to put the towels in the upper, since if they do fall off, it won't hurt anything. And I got these Airstream towels, they are 100% cotton. They do dry very quickly and they're sufficient. So I need to get one more, two more sets because I'd like to have a set of four. Let's see, the bathroom's this way. So if you open the door, towels should be on this side. <laughs> towels on this side, so when you get out of the shower, just in case you need another towel, you open it this way. Okay. All right. You might use this bottom drawer down here, all the way in the bottom. I don't know if you can even see that. This bottom one, down here for food items. We might use that as a pantry for canned items that are a little bit heavier. But again, I don't want weight to be an issue because we can always buy canned foods along the way. There's grocery stores all over the place. As far as clothing, no, it's hard to find your size and I like comfy 100% cotton shirts. They are shorts that we wear a lot of. I think I will put it behind the t-shirts and also je and also jeans. We wear a lot of jeans and shorts. That's that's basically what we wear. So that will go behind under the jeans will go here underneath the shorts and then I will put it in the back. So this is mine. This would be Walters. So that should that should work out. 
for us. Okay, this is the clothing area. Hangy stuff and then folded stuff. So, so those of you buying an Airstream that have the two closet, two door closet option, I don't know about you, but again, for us, all that hangy stuff, we don't really need all that room. So have them build shelves or build shelves on your own if you're a D DIY person. The upper shelf already comes with the unit, but these two shelves and this wall right here did not, and I had them build it. I wasn't gonna do it. And they did, it looks pretty. It matches the rest of the decor. They use the same laminate throughout and it looks nice. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope this was informative. One of my upgrades from the, from the dealership. Thank you, bye.